Hi, my name is Gretchen. Maybe you have some questions about how to do this. First, learn to swim and get stronger doing it. Next, use a comfortable mask and snorkel tube with soft rubber. Also, swim fins are very important. The next ingredient is calm, clear water. I'm a professional photographer. I record what I see with a good digital camera inside a waterproof housing. I don't swim without my husband, Chuck. It is very important to have a swim buddy for safety. Chuck can see things I may miss, and we both can see if there are problems in the water. Here on Virgin Gorda, this beautiful, calm place is called Spring Bay. But sometimes the seas around the island are not calm. The waves come crashing in, making the water very stirred up with sand. It is hard to see anything in the water. And it is not safe to swim. We must wait for the waves and rough seas to quiet. Here, Chuck gives me a thumbs up, signaling the water is calm and clear. Good to photograph the underwater seascape and fish. What I will show you in these lessons are pictures taken in 20 feet of water or less, over your head, but not the deep ocean. I am photographing using the natural light as it comes through the surface of the water. I don't use strobes or lights. You can learn to do this too. We are not diving deep with tanks on. Our fins become our strong engine and our steering wheel, moving us where we want to go and keeping us out of trouble. This swimmer, who has no fins, is getting his legs cut by the coral on the rocks. You must learn to swim with fins. Using them will allow you to keep a safe distance from sharp coral and will help you swim against the force of the current and waves. Avoid touching the corals. They are sharp and prickly, not nice to your skin. Also, do not stand on the coral, as you could break and harm it. There is also something else you should not do. You should not feed the fish when you snorkel. It is against the law. This stunning parrotfish knows just what he wants to eat, and it does not come from you. The most important thing is to see, learn, and respect the natural environment where you are swimming. It has a lot to teach you. So get some small fish ID books or cards so you can learn the names of what you are seeing. The aquarium will have many in its bookstore and you can buy them online. So stay tuned. I'm going to give you lots of fun fish information.